Welcome everybody. My name is Aiden from Mashup Radio. We're here on the UIC campus and I'm here with Melodias. Uh, they're going to be a part of the Battle of the Bands event and uh, I'm excited to be able to hear interviewing them. Uh, so now that everybody introduce yourselves, what, what part of the band do you guys play, each of you? Yo, what's up? My name's Jesus Chavez. I play the guitar. <laughs> I'm David. I'm uh, lead vocals and guitar. I'm Luis. I'm backup vocals and uh, bassist. I'm Ben. Uh, I play the drums and provide vibes. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a bit important, right? That's the most important part. So, how did you guys come up with this group, or who, who started it? So These two, really. It was kind of us. Yeah. Um, so, like, about over a year ago. Yeah, like, like almost two like, years like ago. Two, yeah. Three, so, he, he was doing open mics at a, at a place nearby. Mm. And uh, we both knew we played music. Mm. We just never played together. Um, but he invited me to one of the open mics. I liked the vibe, and so I was like, next week we're playing. And so yeah. since then, we covered two different songs every single week for like cool. almost a year wow. consistently. Yeah, consistently. Um, and then uh, we was here. <coughs> I joined in around uh, January of last year, and uh, then I just got in a bass too, so I was barely figuring everything out. Yeah. And joined up then. yeah, I got involved like. January of this year. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe a little bit before that, but you know, I don't know. It was like it was. It's been like just a fun like last couple like five six months or so. Um, I met David at class here at UIC. Uh, he showed up to class one day with a guitar after somebody had sang in the first day of class and I, you know, started making fun of him. I was like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna <laughs> sing a song for us, bro? Like, and uh, we got to talking and ever since then we've been pretty good friends and that's how I got involved with these guys. Yeah. Nice. yeah. So, so what kind of uh, what kind of genre would you guys classify the music you guys play? That's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, no, we, I mean, we cover a lot, um, but in terms of like what I've been writing recently, I'd say it's closer to indie rock. Um, yeah. experimental a little bit mm -hmm. um, seeing what works yeah. um, we, we're fans of all types of music so um, and with that like what for each of you if you can make maybe, maybe one or two what kind of artists influence the way either you guys perform or like with you the way you write like what artists would you say like influences you or like that you may well, you can say look up to I feel like our music kind of <laughs> gives like the same vibe as like the 1975 <laughs> mm. um, kind of I completely forgot. That's what I was going with, but you know, uh, yeah, it's just kind of that like, like laid back, but kind of like, I don't, I don't even know. I mean, David, what are you David, talking, David, bro? I don't know. But, like that's kind of like the vibe that I kind of get from our music, though. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, in, in terms of like the songwriting process, my favorite band is the Happy Fits, and I don't necessarily say we sound like them, but like. I take a lot of the vibes and fun aspect of them just playing and I like try implementing that and how I write. And then the other one is like, it's it's a band that Lewis actually showed me, Shirley Tempo, um, mostly on the parts that like, they are, um, I think Mexican American. And so they incorporate a little bit of Spanish into their kind of like indie rock. Um, mm -hmm. So like, it's cool to compare myself to them so I can take some inspiration from something like that because that's what I want to be. Um, with this yeah so yeah so that, that's kind of where you guys get that influence so and then like when you guys do perform I know like some of you guys are newer maybe you guys haven't had like a lot of time together but when you guys do perform what are some things maybe you do to prepare for, for those shows <laughs> I, and everybody might have you know different different things but what for each of you what's something maybe you do like before we don't practice <laughs> we usually when we're doing when we were doing like open mic we would never practice until like the very last minute mm -hmm. or when people were going up and we were next we would just go outside real quick a little quick jam session we're set yeah. Yeah. i forgot about the bands though we're, we're yeah. practicing, yeah. We're practicing. Yeah. 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 for that one let's make sure yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was too <laughs> uh, dude i listen to a bunch of music i mean not a bunch of music i listen to like the songs that we're gonna play just repeatedly on repeat all day basically like anytime i have you know a second to listen to something i got it in my ear that's the only way i feel like i can be confident for the thing yeah, yeah pretty much I, I do the same thing um and you know 
playing uh, bass, uh, I do a funny little thing where I super glue my fingers, which is pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that, but... <laughs> yeah, besides that, we just kind of... For practice <laughs> sessions. Um, <laughs> let's, little, not, let's not talk about, about that. But like, that. we drink water. Let's not talk <laughs> yeah, about We drink water. Okay. And what about, so what about after? Maybe like you guys had a great show, you know, you had a good crowd. Um, what do you guys do afterwards? Anything special or anything Dude, like you that? just go out to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. Quick McDonald's run. Quick, yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Nothing special. So now, why do you think that you guys should win the Battle of the Bands event? I don't know if we should win. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too. We're, I was like, we're going to try. I, I think I'd like to win yeah. um, because me and Ben are about to graduate, so this is kind of our only chance. Mm-hmm. Um, we did, I mean, I didn't even know about Battle of the Bands until pretty recently when uh, Matthew, from, which I think you guys already interviewed, um, told me about it in class. And so I was like, oh, I got to jump on it. It's my last semester. So uh, not necessarily why we should win, but like I want to win. <laughs> yeah. I want to win too, but like, I'm mainly here for the experience. I mean, we're, we're necessarily, we're, we just barely became a fully assembled band. I mean, we just got Ben like less than a year ago. And we were really needing a drummer for like two years, right? Mm-hmm. And like a bunch of drummers would like skip on us and shit. Oh, sorry about. That. But yeah, <laughs> they would skip, and like until we we were fully becoming an actual band, we didn't have much. We didn't have much time to put ourselves out there. Mm-hmm. So just the the mere experience and the mere chance that we get, like, I appreciate yeah. so much. I mean, yeah, same thing. I mean, uh, we've kind of just been floating around figuring out what to do for such a long time uh even, even though i haven't been here as long as them um yeah it's just i'm looking to see what goes on have fun yeah i mean i can't really say anything in terms of like winning anything before we like hear the other bands in my opinion because you know um that's that's the whole thing i'm just like i think it's you know kind of a celebration of all of us together you know just kind of like we're all getting together to put on this to put on this show as students for students and i think that's the important thing instead of winning i think it's just like being there having fun and like making that memory you know i feel like that's the important thing and uh you know that's what i'm looking forward to i'm i'm looking forward to making this memory with my friends yeah yeah no and that's all great reasons uh, especially like that one making making the memories and then of course like you used to have being your last semester wanting to win, go out with a bang, right? Yeah. So now, as a group, but also individually, <clears throat> like, what are some goals that you guys have for yourselves? Um, or, like, where do you see the band <clears throat> in the future? Like, what, what are some of those those personal and then for the local group? <laughs> um, <laughs> they're looking at me because they don't know where I'm at with it. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I, I kind of have, like, a short-term tunnel it's it's hard with them because it's hard to schedule a little bit um practices and jam sessions but um i hopefully we we have some demos out we hopefully want to get one of them officially released on spotify the week of battle of the bands Mm -hmm. that's being hopeful um besides that this summer hopefully have an ep out um and just kind of keep having fun uh summer's the best time we can do it because we're out of classes um, especially then we will have it out. We will have it. By Battle of the Bands. <laughs> we will. We will. <laughs> we will. Hopefully we will, right? <laughs> Hopefully we will. Um, but that's the plan. Hopefully this summer we get an EP out. And go from there, see who wants to listen to us. Yeah, and for sure, for like a group like you guys, putting that first big chunk of material out there for everybody to listen to is, I'm sure, extremely exciting and important, of yeah. course. And tying it around Battle of Bands for sure will be great. You know, that way people hear you and say, I gotta get more of this. And then they go home, and then when they're riding home, they listen into it in their car, right? Exactly. So, yeah, that's good, um, very good marketing tactic, right? <laughs> um, so, uh, going back to what you said, right, with this EP and this album and all these songs, how is it for you? Because I'm assuming you're the only one that writes them, right? How, are, how is that writing process? Or what? I'm sure a lot of. Sweat and tears and everything goes into it, but how does that look like? For somebody like me that I don't write songs, how does that look like? So, it's looked a number of ways. Uh, <laughs> how I used to write songs and how once in a while I write songs is uh, <laughs> heartbreak and drinking. No, <laughs> um, 
it's a little bit of like just taking your life experiences um i think when you're at a low point or just have a bad day you can use that to either look on the positive to write a more upbeat song or um, look on the more negative and write out your pain a little bit um but one of the songs i actually wrote i was just chilling with jesus <laughs> um we weren't paying attention to what we were supposed to be paying attention to but um we just got some paper he brainstormed for me because i get writer's block once in a while and then i just wrote based off that so mm. um it it varies but a lot of it is just like taking my own experiences and, venting basically yeah, yeah. Venting. <laughs> and and do you guys set all right or no it's mainly just you guys, no. just, you guys just play what he tells you. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no. Well, we yeah. both just figure it out from what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, having not as much experience, uh, especially with the uh, <coughs> bass and whatnot, I kind of go off what's uh, what like the tone of the song is going to be, and then from there, I figure out what I'm going to do, and like depending on keys and whatnot, figure out what to do from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I've been in like uh, like those like you know your local music stores you know like band you know thing uh you know for like years you know i did that for like five or six like six seven years maybe and uh so i just basically like i hear what they're doing and i just kind of like ad lib drum parts until i find something that i like like they'll send me a uh they'll send me a recording i'll listen to it all the way through just kind of uh kind of like play a bunch of random different variations in my head and then kind of na- land on one and then work off of that until I find something that I really like. And then if I have any recommendations for them, I will very poorly sing it and try to uh, get to the key that, you know, I'll try to be like, David, no, David, no, 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 no. We got to do this. No, 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 And he's like, what do you, what do you mean? Meh. And I'm like, no, man. <laughs> And the, and the good thing is that you try, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm trying. That's I'm trying to help. Yeah. That's what matters. That's what counts. And it's great that, you know, at the end, hopefully by the time battle events comes, all that uh, effort and trying will be in that EP and, and perform, right? Yeah. And then when you guys perform, right, is it mostly, is it all original songs or are there covers as well? And, like, how do you decide what you play? Because, of course, you're only going to have a limited slot in anywhere you can play. So like, how, how would you decide like what you guys play? So in terms of Battle of the Bands, um, I, I've kind of just heard about how long our time slot's gonna be and kind of formed a small set list off, based off that. We're planning on um, squeezing in three originals, one that's pretty short, um, and then two covers, um, but that might vary. Um, but when like determining a set list, usually I wanna get a vibe of the people, um, a vibe of what we wanna express, like especially in this case, like I wanna um, do one song at least in like partial Spanish or full Spanish, because I wanna express that like we're our, for the most part Mexican. <laughs> he's, he's invited to the cookout, <laughs> but seventy five percent. Yeah, yeah. I wanna express our roots a little bit. Um, but in terms of other times, we this is gonna be the, one of the first times we do more than one original song mm. in a oh, set list. Usually we just do a lot of covers, and again, like we said, um, we base it off of the audience that we're going to have. And if you guys do any covers, what kind of groups do you guys usually cover? Is it kind of like the ones you mentioned earlier? Or is there any specific? It's a lot of there. everything. It's, yeah. it's, it's a lot of everything. Um, David did mention like the Happy Fits being a big inspiration for him. Mm-hmm. We've not done a lot of that. Uh, we've done a lot of other stuff, be that like uh, like indie rock or like early 2000s rock. We've done some like old Spanish oldies, um, just a bunch of other random stuff that we all like listen to for the most part. Nice. Well, yeah, and that's cool that you know, although you guys have like such different music tastes, maybe like you listen to all these groups, you're able to kind of put it together and mm. then you know mix it and then come out with something else, right? Because you're not always gonna just have one specific favorite genre. It's always gonna vary. So I'm excited to see how that uh, how that plays out for sure. And then I know, obviously, of course, whoever wins the Battle of the Bands will be able to play at the Spark event. So with the Spark event, who do you guys who do you guys would think will like be your, I guess, dream headliner of that event? Each of you can give me somebody. Who would be your dream? Like, if they can get that guest, that would be my favorite. Uh, 
No, you want me to go? Do I'll you go. know? Because I thought you were going to be undecided. Huh? You go first. No, I'll, no, go, I'll go after. I'll go after. Bang, go, bang. <laughs> Bro, okay. Uh, for me personally, I, th- I feel like glass animals would be a really cool one. Mm. I feel like they got, they have, uh, I've seen them in concert once and uh, it was a just awesome show. So, um, that that would be my pick. Glass animals. I, actually, now that just Ben mentions that, I think I would pick Glass Animals as well. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> because I've, I've listened to a lot of Glass Animals and I really like their stuff. So, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> I mean, I want to go with, like, I, I already said the Happy Fit stuff. Um, I'd probably say them if I was, because they're still relatively small. But if I was going to say... I don't know. Um, we like Viva Doobie. Like that. <laughs> we if like we can, If we can have part of the revenue, I'll change my answer to Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that... She <laughs> probably, she uh, probably, she probably, probably, there probably wouldn't be any could probably revenue. be like a poster. <laughs> 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 or a carbon cutout, maybe. Uh, I don't know Got about it. her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Only because I really wanted to see him, and because the venue was twenty one and over, I want to see Billy Joel. That's oh, true. Billy yeah, Joel! I could not. I could that not see him. Yeah. Well, Billy Joel would be awesome. UIC, whoever's in charge of Spark, if you can get Billy Joel to come to Spark, that would be amazing. I will go see Billy Joel too, <laughs> or, or Glass Animals. Those are both great. So we'll we'll see. Or Taylor Swift. Wait, if, maybe. <laughs> if we lose, can we at least come to Spark? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's pretty much wraps up uh, the interview. Mm-hmm. Just one kind of final thing to, to sign off. Um, how are you guys feeling preparing for this Battle of the Bands? Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of, like I said, emotions going on. So to kind of everybody just sign off and then let us know how you're feeling and what kind of, what can we expect from each of you? Okay. So I'm, I'm somewhat prepared. You know, everyone has their own stuff going on. I, I got exams and I know he has exams. So hopefully we were like, I'm, me, myself, I'm like 75, 80% there mm-hmm. to being ready. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, no matter how much I prepare, I'm going to be hella nervous, but I I like being nervous because it means I'm ready. Yeah, but. Uh, personally, yeah, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good. Maybe a little bit over 75% compared to Jesus. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I'm definitely going to be nervous the day of, especially. But there ain't nothing wrong with that. In my defense, no one can hear the bass anyway, bro. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, John? Uh, I've been, I've been, I'm not gonna lie. I've been, I've been pretty busy. <laughs> 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 um, I'm like, I'm like chilling at around like a forty-seven. <laughs> um, well, the good thing, but we still have time, right? <clears throat> yeah, we're we're fine. We're fine. I'll get there. Mm. Yeah. It's well, yeah, with, with <laughs> practice, you know, we, we've still got time. Yeah. Uh, I wish you guys the best of luck, right? Sure. I, hope, I hope you guys do great. I hope you guys win, and hopefully you guys can be performing with Taylor Swift, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if, they can, if they can get her. Or well, Glass Animals or, or Lily Joel, that'd be amazing. Yeah, so, um, well, thank you guys for coming, though. True. I appreciate yeah, it. Uh, and thank nice. you guys for watching this video or listening, however it's going to be uh, formatted. Once again, my name is Aiden from Mashup Radio, and uh, we'll see you all there. And be listening to them at Battle of the Bands. Thank you all again. Have a good one.